this video we are starting with the making of one plane by using top plane and we go 123.5 in top direction okay hide it and let's draw a sketch on this plane it's gonna be something like this let's do for a start two cycles one somewhere around here and another one uh, just on a little bit on left from this one now the dimension from let's use origin till this cycle uh, horizontally we have 113 diameter of that cycle is gonna be 7.5 and diameter of this one is 10 now from the a cycle to the origin vertically we have 2079 and let's add uh, two center lines that are going from this edge to the right and then up okay now this cycle is gonna be tangent with this center line and with this center line make sure it's looking just like this the cycle should be in this corner now from the from this center line to this uh, last point of the nose we have 225 and from a left edge to this center line uh, horizontally we have 127 and that's that's done about the cycles now what we can do is add first spline by two points just draw it somewhere around here and let's first drag the handles this handle is going right and this one is going something like this add the angle between between this handle and the center line we have 10 degrees and between this one and the center line we have 15 now distance for the top one is gonna be 170 and for the bottom one we have 100 now of course this point of the spline and cycle are gonna be coincident and same here and of course make it tangent and same here okay now we again need another spline to close this loop by so spline by two points and we're doing something quite similar so handle like this handle like this we have angle between let's say this center line and this handle 110 and between this handle and the and this center line we have 8 degrees distance gonna be for this one 170 and for bottom one 110 again make it coincident and of course make it tangent let me just check double check some 
yeah I think this angle is too strong it should be like something like 95 actually okay and that's the sketch done exit the sketch and we are gonna do extract boss by using these contours let's make it hundreds and go in in this direction and make sure the merge result is not selected now let's hide this body save everything and let's use so click on this face select sketch and select select convert exit the sketch now we need to make a few planes so use a uh, right plane and use this vertex here for first plane and for second one again right plane and this vertex here let's hide them both and then use a first plane to make a sketch we can rotate like this select a line and let's go from this point straight up make sure it's a vertical line and dimension should be 200 so that's how it's looking like and let's make a plane by top plane and this point of the line on that plane we are gonna draw just a quick sketch actually by selecting this sketch here and converting it here hide the plane exit the sketch and we got just another sketch left to finish this loft that we are gonna make so a second plane we made here sketch on it and do a two point spline something like this now rotate let's hide the nose actually so that you can see well what we are doing so point and point coincidence and same here let me just find my sketches okay so bring back bring back the right view select the spline and drag this bottom handle to the left and this top one should be vertical so for vertical we have uh, 400 distance and for bottom one we have the angle of 18 degrees and the distance of 450 it's looking maybe too strong but that's, that's how it should be actually there's a sketch down now we can do a loft here so lofted boss profiles this one and this one and guide curves are gonna be this straight line and this narrow spline now make sure also that the merge result is not selected we don't wanna touch any bodies and merge it to one so click OK and let's hide this one we don't need it actually we are gonna delete it on the end of tutorial and let's bring back the nose and bring, bring back this main body and what's left yeah okay now as you are gonna see this uh, this connection part is almost done it's almost finished but looking from the inside we have to to remove the inside material so for that we are gonna use this surface this face of the nose actually and we're gonna offset that surface by 0 0.5 to the inside so the, it's gonna go like this now we can click in design tree on that surface and do a cut with surface 
and here in feature scope deselect auto select and select this part we want to cut it and make sure that this arrow is going like this so when you cut it what's gonna disappear is the inside part if it's if it's, it's if this part disappeared then just change the direction of the cutting now when we done all of that what's left to be done is actually just mirroring this body so that we can have it of course here and let's hide for first this surface and now we can combine all of these visible bodies so nose connection and the main wing part click OK and as you can see everything is just perfect and this wing is now starting to look uh, very very awesome so I hope you like this video and from this one we have two videos left that are gonna be really easy just like this one and that's the wing done so see ya in those two videos bye